Hey, we're rolling. What's up, guys? It's Kyle 2.0 and B Red. And B Red. Repping the storm hoodie. <laughs> so, question, Brad. Is it a hoodie, a beanie, or a toboggan? Do you call it a hoodie? No, it's definitely not a hoodie. Someone, That's a hoodie. But... Someone called it a toboggan the other day, and that was the first time I've heard of that. Yeah, I say toboggan. You say toboggan? Yeah. Does everyone, in, where are you from, South Carolina? Where are you from? North Carolina. North Carolina. Does everyone in North Carolina say toboggan? We wear them boggins, son. Man, come on. I, uh, it's a beanie to me. A beanie. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> I have to ask social media beanie or toboggan. <laughs> we're here, Jonesboro. We're about to kill it. I'm about to kill it. Yep. Watch on flow. Even though you're not going to see that till later because then we're going to upload this. Yeah, full bowling for everyone who's <laughs> wondering how you can watch this. Yep. Brad's just taping up. Yep. yep. Using all that lovely thumb tape that I don't have to worry about. Pick it out. <laughs> Love it, Brad. Love you. Day after game four, we uh, we gotta take our wins. Let me show you. High game on the pair with 205. And it's usually not going very good when that's your highlight of the day so far. But I'm curious, how long can I go in this tournament without striking on the right lane? <laughs> do it what do we gotta do talk about our block <laughs> <laughs> you could say that these seven games did not exactly go as planned <laughs> didn't quite plan on doing what we did it's amazing how you can go from feeling at your best and feeling extremely confident to just like three days later just being incredibly humbled, and now all of a sudden you don't even know how to get your ball to strike. <laughs> it's like, what just happened? It's like I did not know how to get my ball correctly to the pocket. I've been doing this my whole life, and I did not know how to throw a strike today. I know, these are these blocks that, like as they're happening, you just, you just can't get an answer. Like you just, you know, like you just said, we've done this a million times and you're completely guessing the entire time and you can't get a guess right. And or if it's right, it's good for two frames and then you do something and you're yeah. like, what's going on? And especially after like yourself, you just made a show last week, your first single show, crushed it all week, completely dialed in, destroyed everyone in match play, 120 under. Like... I know. That's how hard it is though. <laughs> like, when you don't see it, you don't see it. I mean, that's all it is, right? It's like going from the, the high of the highs down to the low of the lows. That's just your mind, right? You could control, you know, you can, I don't know. Control how you perceive all, everything. Yeah, you can't. I mean. And when you let the, when you let the result start messing with your process and all that stuff, which, it's not just one result, it's all your results. Like four straight games worth of just, you know, nonsense, whatever it may have been. When you when you let those four games uh, start to dictate how you think and how you move and how you walk, um, that's when you start, that's, that's the biggest loss. You know, 
ringing a 10, boning an 8, shooting 170, that's not that's not a loss. You know, that, that happens. Yeah, that happens. You know, you lose when you start to think that that's going to happen again or... I know, I found, and Brett can obviously attest to this, as soon as we're done, <laughs> I am complaining about every single thing <laughs> I could possibly complain about. Balls, lanes, you know, everything. But in reality, you know, I, it's my job to be better at all of that. It's my job to know what balls to throw, what part of the lane, understand the transition, understand the breakdown. You know, it's no one else's job to do that. And when you complain, you know, it, other people managed it. Other people figured it out. Whoever's leading the tournament right now and, you know, the 20 guys under that, they didn't have the same issues. So it's like, you know, it's out there. But... You know, I definitely found myself complaining, which sometimes, I don't know, it's okay to vent. It, yeah, it's impossible not to, I mean, you can't be perfect. No, but as long as you, you know, you got to realize, like, Brad just played this Gary V video that said you got to love to lose. I hate losing. <laughs> I hate losing too. But you got to love the challenge as far as, you know, recognizing your faults, recognizing your weaknesses, and instead of complaining and not doing anything about them, realize them, and then just just get better at them, do what you do to improve. Like, you know, we're both pretty much out of this cut. There's really no, I have the slightest glimmer of hope, and Brad has to career him twice <laughs> in seven games <laughs> to even have a lick of cashing. Seriously, no, you got to, I mean, these next seven games, you know, we get the opportunity to go on a pattern that we really struggled on, two patterns, you know, didn't have any success and get our mind right and focus because you I mean like the saying goes you never know when you're gonna learn something there's a chance we learn something and get better at something to where later on down the road we could be in a match play somewhere and all of a sudden we remembered something we did here or you know something clicks to where we you know you go off but if you don't take this opportunity I mean you go it's so easy to go into these seven games and be like go through the motions get it over with be done but you know, it's such a good opportunity to actually learn something, get better, and keep improving. And I think that's a lot of what the whole love to lose thing has to offer. Yeah, like when you're when you're doing great and everything seems easy, well, you know, anyone can do that to an extent. Like if you're a good bowler and you've worked hard and you've really went out there and bowled a lot of tournaments, you're going to have some great successes. But what that doesn't teach you is how to actually manage the adversity. How to actually uh, remember, like the adversity makes you focus, like, and it, and it could also make you give up. Yeah, you know. But you know what a winner would do was, you know, that that's the trigger that they needed. Okay, forget about those seven games. I realize I'm very humbled now. We need to go into these next seven games and give it all we got. Uh, because that adversity teaches you that. If things are easy, sure, you worked hard enough to have that one day go everything good for you and whatnot, but uh, it still doesn't teach you uh, how, how to be humbled and then just get everything you can out of the opportunity. And so coming up, you know, we got seven games to really figure out what we can be better at and what we can do better and without these bad blocks you don't necessarily get your mindset to there because if everything was easy you know it's easy to be lazy yeah basically basically gonna try everything that i didn't do the first seven games <laughs> So anyway, that's that's gonna be a big that's chunk a of that's chunk a, of the vlog that's right a, there. That's a nine minute rant. Right when we're bowling bad, there's not a whole lot of content to go around. So that that's that's what you get. So anyway, we got seven games here. We'll give it our best. That's all you can do. I hopefully learned something. And uh, yeah, I think that I think that about that's sums it. it up. Let's just. I hope you guys on. aren't sleeping by now. So enjoy the next block. See you later. See ya. <laughs>
Well, this pretty much explains how the uh, the week went. <laughs> you got any last words to say, Brad? Oh, yeah. Still almost had Packy today. Good I was creeping. On what? On you. What'd you go to? You back out to me. I was, I was I was about 80 short at one point, but I had you. Oh, <laughs> I had you. You're so drawing him in the sight. <laughs> you're God, using that long know. range missile. That's I, mean, I was doing. reeling, dude. He was coming on back. <laughs> Brad was no. that sniper hiding in the trees. <laughs> the best part about him almost catching me is that we both cash for zero dollars. <laughs> That's the best. And even if I would have got you by 100, I still wouldn't have cashed. You still wouldn't have snatched it. Oh, the joys of bowling. Hey, did Walter beat you? Hey, guess what? Did Walter beat you? Guess who beat Kyle did Walter by... Walter beat you? <laughs> Walter crushed me. Ah! <laughs> two-handed! Two-handed! He was doing two-handed tonight the last two games. Uh, oh, that's yeah, but he didn't get him the last two games. He got him the first five. Why, when he averaged 240? Yeah, he's one-handed. <sighs> so what were you going to say? What were you going to say? Uh, I know what you were going to say, but I want you to say it. I mean... Guess who beat, guess who lost to Prather by a stick? Turn the camera around, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what's worse, almost finishing last or missing cash by a stick. Honest, it's a terrible feeling both ways. But I think finishing last might be better. <laughs> uh, is anyone happy? We're all happy. I'm a happy guy. It is a bitter, bittersweet moment because, it's yes, not. I did catch the last check, but I was in sixth going into the last block and was feeling very confident. <laughs> <laughs> Get him! Oh, no, this guy's in the fighting mode tonight. I don't want oh, to do yeah. that. <laughs> hey, we're out. We're sailing her down. Dang it. What did I just do? Okay, this is the end of Jonesboro. It was fun. Was it? Thank you, Jonesboro, for making them impossible! <laughs> I'll see you. <laughs> and with that, we're out. <laughs>